hello guys so today we'll be talking about aws cdk so the topics that we'll cover is that uh, what is cdk why do we need cdk like what value does it provide uh, cdk is built on cloud formation so we'll see what is cloud formation and then we'll get started with uh, uh, installing cdk and all and doing some of the prerequisites and then we'll create our first CDK app. So what is AWS CDK? It is a short form for Cloud Development Kit. So whenever you are using CDK, you write an application and that application is written in TypeScript, JavaScript, Python, Java or C Sharp and it uses AWS CDK to define your AWS infrastructure. So the output, whenever you compile the app or build the app, the output of your AWS CDK is a cloud formation template so we need to now understand what is cloud formation so cloud formation gives you an easy way to declare provision and manage life cycle of aws resources by treating infrastructure as code this is a very important line so suppose you are setting infrastructure for your project on aws uh, and you need like around 20 entities 20 different type of resources uh, for your project so 20 is a very, very small number that I've picked, but uh, it would be more. So if you're creating all of these resources manually, it is very really easy to forget like what all those resources were. And to repeat it, it's pragmatically not possible, right? You can't repeat it, like do the same thing manually in the same order again. And it is not traceable also. So you know that what you did, like what all clicks you did, but nobody can trace it, that what all changes you did. So for sure, like setting it up manually is not a good way. So there needs to be a better way. So the better way is writing your provisioning as code, like provisioning and creating of the infrastructure as code, and then allowing one of the tools to create the infrastructure for you. And that is what cloud formation is. And this is provided by AWS. There are numerous other tools that provide the same thing. By the way, if you're liking the video so far, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button because it motivates me a lot. So let's look at the cloud formation template which I have with me. This is the template. It's a JSON format. The template could be also in a YAML format. So if you see here, like first is the version, which is of cloud formation, then description, and then parameters, which are later used. So parameters could be like some key names, right, or what type of instance uh, like we're using, or some other thing like SSH location, DB name, and all. And these are some mappings which you can add. And then is the important part, which is the resources which you will be using, like in and then as infrastructure, right? So here you have security groups. So you are declaring these security groups, and you declare the type. Similarly. You say you want a web server, it just uh, you give a logical name, and this is the type which is EC2 instance. And uh, you run some WordPress install command and all. And uh, if we just minimize this web server, right? And at the end, you want to output that uh, your uh, your WordPress is running on this port and all, right? Uh, other thing to note here is like to do some of uh, like arbitrary, like uh, non trivial stuff, you have to use some commands which are again passed in a JSON format. Like here, we're passing function JSON, like join, and then you pass the arguments. So this is not so clear so, and like means. Uh, it's not easy to reason for and it's not easy to write and uh, and the reason for that is like json is a very primitive language like primitive way of representing data similarly is yaml so if you have a higher order language then uh, the stuff that is represented here could be written in a very concise way and much readable way right so this is where uh, cloud development kit or cdk aws cdk comes into picture so let's see an example of CDK application. So here I created a CDK application, a very plain one. So in the lib, we have the code where we define the resources. And I've just defined one resource for now, which is S3 bucket. So we import S3 here, and then we say S3.bucket. If you see, 
when I press uh, space here, like this is my IDE, which helps me. So I see all the available options that I have. I could define bucket policy, I could define bucket and all. And then these are the properties that I could define for the bucket, right? So instead of true, like version, I try to pass some other string. So it complains because this is just a type of a Boolean, right? Like a string is not assignable to it. So let's see other examples, which we could see, right? So we could provide access control. So, and here you see, like I have authenticated read and like uh, owner read and all. So this is how easy it is to provide the access control. Like how easy to know what all options, configuration options are available. So that's why you see it's a huge difference and uh, a huge step forward from the cloud formation templates where you don't get a lot, a lot of help uh, from your uh, IDEs. And the code which you're writing now in CDK, it's much concise. And you are just writing the code in the language, whichever you're comfortable with. And the reusability is a lot more because you could write classes, functions, and all, everything, the way you're writing the normal code. By the way, if you're liking the video so far, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button because it motivates me a lot. Build your CDK application means converting it to cloud formation template. You don't need to explicit you don't need to mandatory convert it to cloud formation you could just straight away deploy and all but if you want to see what is the cloud formation template that is generated you could say cd synth so it will create a folder now which is cdk.out if you go to that folder this is the template which you can look at so here you see that we're deploying a bucket and all like we're creating a s3 bucket which is a type but if you compare the number of lines, right, for just a couple of lines here, but here it is a much elaborate version that you have to do. So that's why your code is much, much concise in this way. And also when you're writing a lot more things, a lot more complex templates and all, you will see there's a huge, huge benefit which you get. So other thing to keep in mind is that uh, CDK uses stacks of cloud formation. Stack is basically combining of the multiple resources into a single unit. And once all the resources are successful, the full stack is created. Or if, if it is like, if it is like, there is some error in one of the resources, the stack would not, the full stack would not be created, right? It would be marked as deleted again. So the, all the resources have to be up for the stack to be up, to be up or to be created. So that, uh, that makes it very easy to treat the whole application as a single unit. So to get, so we have looked at like what is CDK, we have looked at the detail and all that how do you compile it. So to get started, like the prerequisites is first you install the AWS CLI and the way to do that is you just choose like whichever version you want. I have Mac OS and then there are few ways using which you can install the AWS CLI. And next is like you need to set up AWS, you need to provide your credentials and all. So first of all, create an account for you right, a user, and I have linked, I've just given administrative rights to it, but uh, using policies and all, but like you can just give it limited corresponding to whatever you're installing. So just provide like the limited like, rights and all. And, uh, or you could also use profile and all. So like you could just add it to .aws config, like use the default profile and all or something else. So, and then provide access key and all. And then you install AWS CDK by saying npm install. And then you could just check whether the CDK installed by saying CDK minus minus version. Okay. So, and then to create an application, uh, you have to say CDK init app, and then you say the language, whichever language you want. So I'm using the language as TypeScript here. So let's go ahead and create our application. So to create an application, you have to first say, create a folder. So I would say CDK demo. And then that folder have to be, has to be empty. Otherwise uh, uh, your CDK util, like or the CLI would not create, uh, the would not generate the project file and all. So you say CDK init app, and then you just say language, which is TypeScript in my case. So here it tells you what all things you want to execute and all. 
right whether you can say synthesize or you could just say run build compiles typescript to js and all if you want to or you could say cdk deploy which deploys the stack to aws so i have couple of aws profile in all on my machine so i'll just check out my own one so i would say profile robin personal so now i have to say aws configure so it just tells me what's the access key id which i know is correct and i know the key is also correct that's the reason which i choose and so let's look at the generated file and all so this is the cdk demo the project which we created so it uh, creates the package of json and all and all the stuff that you need the basic stuff and here in the lib it creates the cdk demo stack this is where you add your code so i would add aws cdk slash s3 because that's the uh, bucket that i want to create i want to create s3 bucket and then i'll just paste the code for uh, installing of the s3 which is here like s3 bucket and then i could just to deploy it right i would just move these properties also just what we just have voice name so i would say cdk deploy that's all you have to do to to create the s3 bucket so a couple of things to note here are that i added removal policy as destroy so that whenever i clean up the stuff like the bucket gets deleted and uh, other thing is like i've imported s3 you know so now i will the first thing that we need to do is we need to say like if first of all if i go to uh, cloud formation and now i don't see anything there's nothing so it says create a stack that's where it shows this one right then now i would uh, run cdk bootstrap so it's it's bootstrapping environment now so if we see it would be creating a change set like cloud formation stack for us so if we reload now so we see a new stack came in and its creation is in process right so and also like we see some resources so if we see s3 now so it just creates a uh, a bucket like for its own maintenance now this is not the bucket that we have defined right that's why it's cdk toolkit staging bucket it is not the name which we had like my first bucket so there's nothing with that name my first bucket now so and this is used by cdk to track uh, to track its own resources and all right so let's try to now deploy our application so the way to deploy our application is we need to say cdk deploy so we just had one bucket so far on s3 which was this and now our own bucket would be created and we had one stack right so a new stack is being created with a cdk demo stack and uh, i'll just reload again so it says create in process now at the back end like you'll say that it has created right so now it has it, the bucket as creation is in process if we go to bucket and if i reload so we should see two buckets now yeah so this one if we see the name is uh my first bucket let me just increase the size yeah so this is the name which has my first bucket in it and if i say now to clean it up i will should say destroy and then the same thing we see for stacks if i really reload it would be maybe it would say like the removal in process or something oh first it asked for a confirmation so i'll give the confirmation now and now when we try to reload it says delete in process this is the stack and now if we reload the buckets so we see the bucket is also gone so this is the cdk like which is the 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 parent bucket which is used for like cdk uh tracking and all 
but the bucket which we created got cleaned up. So this is how it's easy to create the resources and then clean it up, right? I just showed an example of one resource, but uh, you can just add however you want. So if you like the full video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button because it motivates me a lot to make more, more such videos.